Welcome to Vancouver, the home of the 2010 Winter Olympics. <laughs> that was 12 years ago. Nobody cares about that anymore? <laughs> <laughs> We're Eric and Sarah. For the past year, we've been traveling internationally, visiting some of the world's most beautiful destinations. Now we're back home in Canada, living in our 1980s camper van named Board the Ford. With world-renowned beauty on our doorstep, we're traveling again. But this time, we're in our home province of British Columbia. Known for its mountains, ocean, wildlife, and diverse culture, British Columbia is one of the most beautiful places in the world. We even have the license plate to show for it. <laughs> our goal is to show you the best of BC and give you a reason to come see it yourself. Subscribe to follow along. So today we're in Vancouver, British Columbia, and everyone knows that Vancouver is very beautiful, there's lots to do, and that it's very expensive. <laughs> so today we want to show you a less expensive side of Vancouver and how to do this on a budget. So let's go! <laughs> how to get around in Vancouver. So we decided to leave Gord the Ford behind because, you know, driving an old camper van in downtown Vancouver didn't really seem like our ideal uh, relaxing day. <laughs> so we're gonna be using only public transit today. We are currently on what's called the Sky Train. You can buy these compass passes and the day pass costs only $11 and it includes all the Sky Trains, buses, and the sea bus in Vancouver. So it really is the perfect way to go if you're gonna be exploring Vancouver for the whole day. <laughs> So our first stop today is at Granville Island, and Granville Island is a total classic. If you're ever in Vancouver, you definitely have to come here. It's super cool because the colors are super vibrant, there's lots of artistic shops, and there's even a public market, and so we're just gonna kind of walk around and hopefully find ourselves a little bit of food. In Granville Island used to be an industrial area where they manufactured equipment for mining, logging, and shipping industries. During the Great Depression and the wars, these companies essentially shut down, but the area was rejuvenated in the early 80s when they combined the buildings to create the public market. how busy this place is and this is a Wednesday. <laughs> it's just packed. I can't imagine what this would be like on a Saturday. <laughs> I know, actually. There's so many people here. What'd you get? Food. Food. Fish and chips. <laughs> Let's do it. We just took a short bus downtown and we're just walking to our next destination. But the reason we like coming to Vancouver is because it's just so lively. We grew up just outside of Vancouver and we always just kind of came here for either school trips or just kind of maybe for the day. But every time we come here, it's just super fun because there's just so many people, there's so much stuff going on. During the summertime especially, there's a lot of events and outdoor activities. It's just really fun to just come to Vancouver even just for a day, even for us. as. <laughs> It's semi so semi metro vancouver <laughs> locals i suppose <laughs> good, good, good. 
So Vancouver is known for being a pretty active and outdoorsy city, so we decided to fully embrace it by coming to Stanley Park and the seawall, and we rented a bike, but not just any bike. <laughs> Tandem! <laughs> so, <laughs> hopefully we survive. It's <laughs> a bad idea. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh no. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Go, 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 go! This is a big uh, relationship. <laughs> Yes, because I have to trust Eric so much because I can't see anything in front of me. So if he tilts too fast or uh, crashes us, it's on Eric, okay? You're in good hands, Sarah, don't worry. Okay, <laughs> but now we have video record that if we crash, it's, it's your Eric's fault. fault. It's your fault because you're leaning out. Let's enjoy the ride, Sarah. Yeah, I am. Wow. Okay, this is actually perfect though because I can go no hands, I can go no feet, Although that's a little stressful. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my goodness. I got it. <laughs> LOL when the runners are as fast as us biking. Definitely not a biking path. <laughs> now we're stuck on the walking Definitely path. Definitely not supposed to be down. <laughs> and we don't know how to get back Everyone up. Else we're supposed walking. to be up there. Uh, now we're those weird people. We're ruining it. Back where we need to be. This is so gorgeous. Yeah, I'm loving this. I just died! <laughs> I made it. So we're hoping to swim at this beach, but it's honestly so packed and we just kind of want to finish the bike ride now. So not going to swim, but it's a great place to stop if you do bike around Stanley Park. <laughs> It's totally worth it to rent a bike to go around Stanley Park. We rented it from Spokes and it was about $17 an hour. And yeah, I would say totally worth it. And definitely try a tandem yeah. bike. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> So we're now in Gastown, which is the old commercial district of Vancouver. It's been refurbished to be kind of the historical downtown area. It's really beautiful. There's a lot of cool restaurants and breweries and just places to explore. But what it's really known for is this clock, the Gastown steam clock. This is the world's first steam powered clock, which is really cool. Every hour on the hour, it makes a big whistle noise, which is gonna happen in a few minutes. But yeah, it's just a really cool place to come and check out here in Vancouver. How do you like that? That's so cool. It was actually a little misty over here. I don't know when the last time I've actually like heard that. I feel like every time I pass, I'm like, I'm not gonna wait. Yeah. <laughs> Like my favorite part about Gastown is just all the architecture. This is all super old and just different. I feel like I could probably just spend all day here just taking photos and videos just of the architecture. <laughs> totally. <laughs> We finally, so finally made it to our last destination in Vancouver, which is Kitsilano Beach. 
we have been absolutely running around today. <laughs> we walked all over and used public transit, but so much walking. Totally. Definitely didn't do things in the most logical way, but we had a great day. <laughs> That's right. So I think we managed to keep this pretty low budget throughout yeah. the day. <laughs> Uh, and we also just had a really nice time. If you have any other recommendations, we really haven't done a whole lot today. There's lots more to There's do in Vancouver. There's tons to do in Vancouver and low budget things as well. So if you have other recommendations just for other people, throw them in the comments, please. We'd love that. It'd be great, yeah. And we're just ending the day here at Kitsilano Beach with some friends and some fireworks. That's so right. we're really excited, yeah. but we hope you like this little mini tour of Vancouver. That's right, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>